Virtual Garage, powered by Gavril. Get yours at West Coast Gavril. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Virtual Garage. Today we're going to be working on the 240BX. We're going to be putting the lift kit on our shop truck and we're going to be checking out one epic D-series drag vehicle, drag truck. It's absolutely awesome. You guys definitely stick around. Smash that thumbs up button if you do enjoy the video. First things first, let's go ahead and check out the newly installed engine on the 240 or the, the 200 here. Um, we did do this. I did tell you guys in the last episode that I was going to put the motor install in a uh, virtual garage extra video, but I never actually got that done. So I'm going to be posting that video right after this one. So you guys can run over there, check that out if you are interested. But it's basically a 4.5 liter out of one of the D series pickup trucks. It's running a uh, belt driven Vortex style supercharger. Definitely should be make uh, plenty, of uh, plenty of power to get those rear tires spinning. So today we're going to be actually going to be putting the angle kit on this thing so we can get more angle when we're drifting. We're going to be installing coilovers all the way around and we're going to be throwing the roll cage in this thing. That way in the next coming episodes we can get the interior in, the body panels on, everything buttoned up with this bad boy so we can get it out there and shred some tires. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get our vehicle config menu pulled down here. So first of all, before we get going here, huge shout out to everybody that has been hitting up the polls over there on the community page. Uh, absolutely awesome. You guys have actually picked out that you want to see the D-Series, the shop truck. Spin around, take a look at that. Looks absolutely awesome with that Bermuda and black paint job. You guys said that you wanted to see this thing as a lift to lifted tow rig, so that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to be putting some lifted uh, uh, shocks and springs on it today and getting it up in the air a little bit more, making it look pretty tough. So back to the BX, let's see here uh, what we got going on. We are going to get down into our suspension here. Go ahead and take off the sport front struts and install some race front coilovers. Those are going to give us all the adjustment that we need to fine tune the suspension. Definitely going to put a little nicer stance on it. We can lower that on down a little bit more, or jack it up, whatever we want to do. Like I said, the race suspension does give you all the uh, full, full adjustability. Go ahead and throw those on the rear as well. Go ahead and upgrade this uh, sway bar. So definitely uh, gave it a little better stance there. Let's go ahead and throw the race sway bar on there as well. Mine as well. And then let's go ahead and check out this front uh, steering here. We'll go ahead and turn it all the way. This is the stock uh, quick ratio steering that came in the, uh, the LS model of our 200 here. So let's go ahead and add on the quick ratio drift steering. That's going to give us a lot more angle. Hopefully we'll be able to keep a couple of better drifts. So there we go. That's a lot further than it was before. Definitely is going to help us out when we're out there trying to uh, get some angle. So let's go ahead and see what else we have going on here. Uh, anything else in the suspension yep here's the front sway bar so let's go ahead and add the race sway bar to that as well and then we're going to go ahead and go inside the vehicle and add these uh the roll cage let's go ahead and get a little better view here find the roll cage and we'll throw that in there that way we're nice and safe when we're getting into some skids check it out there we go good looking roll cage it's got the fire extinguisher already installed in it, very nice. Now you can't run the door panels with the roll cage, so I don't think we'll be putting those back on, but we're definitely gonna need a steering wheel and a seat in here. So pretty cool build here so far, guys. Um, in today's poll, I wanna know what kind of body kit do you guys wanna run on it, right? We have two different options here that are just uh, stock parts in the game. We could either run the uh, rocket bunny style kit or we could run the uh, wide body kit right so here is the turbo bunny is what they call it let's go ahead and check that out so that gives you the bolted on style fender flares or you could go ahead and just do the wide body kit 
and it sort of ties in the whole, uh, the whole, you know, the whole uh, body kit on it will sort of tie in together with the wide body kit. You know, you can put the matching front bumpers on there and the side skirts and stuff. So, uh, you know, this gives it more of a finished sort of drift car look where the Rocket Bunny is sort of more of a, uh, you know, garage built. Slap some cool parts on there and get out on the track and do some drifting. So, you guys definitely let me know in the poll what you want to see, Rocket Bunny or wide body. So let's go ahead and we'll just throw the regular fender back on there. That is the rear suspension. All right, go ahead and put the regular front fender on it uh, for back for right now. Go ahead and do a burnout. Get this thing out of the way. Get the shop truck moved on in here. We're going to work on it. And then, like I said, we got one sweet drag truck that's going to do a gnarly burnout for us, I'm sure. Go ahead and get this thing up in the second gear. No problem at all. We can add DOS to this motor if we need I think we're going to need any extra power. Should be good to go right there. Oh, all right. So let's jump in the shop truck here. Get it fired up. Turn on some lights so we can see. Dang, shop is really dark other than right here in the middle. It's kind of the only bad thing about the shop. We need to get some more lights going on in here. But let's get this thing backed into place. Go ahead and shut it down. Hop out and then install a lift kit. Turn this thing into a lifted tow rig. Go ahead and turn the lights back off on it. Pull up the vehicle config menu. You guys definitely let me know if you like these uh, build style videos or if you just like the burnout carnage sort of action. Uh, let me know what you think down in the uh, comment section below there. We are going to install the lifted front leaf springs and lifted rear leaf springs. Sort of quick and easy way to get this thing up in the air. Now you could do the um, the off-road leaf springs and, and off-road uh, stuff and then go into the tuning and jack it up that way. And uh, well, let's go ahead and see what it looks like. It really doesn't look like we have much more lift right there, does it? Maybe we should go ahead and add the heavy duty frame with five inch body lift. That's definitely gonna get this thing up into the air see what it looks like yep that is definitely looks lifted now what do you guys think definitely let me know I think it looks pretty dang old good well since we're right here I want to go ahead and put a new set of wheels on this thing as well so let's go ahead and drop that down we have a really nice set of the black chrome wheels and that's the ones I want to run where are they at right here black aluminum black aluminum dualies throw those on there I think they're gonna look really good with this paint scheme there you go can't hardly see them at all let's go ahead and we'll put the front ones on too we'll go ahead and pull it outside and check it out alright so here is our shop truck looking awesome jacked up with those nice black aluminum rims definitely looks good but I did notice something out here in the back our roll pan is now sticking or our frame is now sticking through our roll pan so that is not going to work. Let's go ahead and pull out the vehicle config menu here. Fix that real quick. I guess we'll probably just run a uh, regular style real rear bumper on it. So you can see the five inch bracket here. That's for the uh, you know body lift kit there. And the roll pan just doesn't work with it. So let's go ahead and uh, pick out something different. I'm thinking we're just going to go ahead and run the uh, body colored rear um, bumper. But let's go ahead and check out the off-road rear bumper. See what that looks like. I might not look too bad on here. I do believe it's black. Yeah, there we go. So a little aftermarket sort of bumper look sort of blends in there. I don't think it looks as nice as the uh, nice clean roll pan that was the, uh, you know, Bermuda color going across there as well. But, it, you know, gives it a little something. It is a tow rig, so we have some nice shackles on here we can use. Another thing I need to figure out what, uh, what we want to do is if uh, we want to run the gooseneck trailer hitch in there, we'll have to remove the... Uh, the tailgate and install that as well so I'm not sure if we want to do that yet or run a topper on this thing or something so I guess we'll figure that out here in an upcoming episode there's our 200 over there looking awesome ready to drift right over here we have our drag dually look at this thing it once was a dually that's just one big old huge uh, race slick out back right now let's go ahead and get this menu out of our way check this thing out
So this thing is an absolutely epic drag build. You can see those 18 inch wide uh, tires on the back just putting the power down. This thing is running the 5.5 uh, liter under the hood with a stage two supercharger on it and a huge shot of nitrous. You can see it's got the uh, skinny drag slicks up front, that huge wing out back helping it uh, put the uh, power down when it's flying through those traps at the end of the quarter mile. And uh, we actually don't have any footage of this thing at the drag strip because uh, that brings up the next topic that I want to talk about is that we're going to be doing a head to head video next video next episode here on Virtual Garage. We're we'll going to be doing a head-to-head -head shoot off against this truck right here and that V10 drag Moonhawk that we had on episode one. We're going to be doing a head-to-head -head where they're actually going to be doing the quarter mile drag strip. They're going to be doing a burnout and donut uh, style competition for style, right? Whichever one does the meanest, nastiest burnout wins that one. And they're also going to be heading over to the racetrack to put down some lap times on these skinny drag, uh, skinny drag tires on the front, right? They're going to have to make their way around the racetrack and see what kind of lap times they can put down. So, uh, you know, best two out of three wins it, takes it, wins or takes all, whatever. That's what we're going to be doing, a head-to-head -head competition. You guys definitely let me know if you have any cool ideas for any upcoming head-to-heads down in the comment section below. I also think we're going to be doing a tough truck competition with some more of our off-road vehicles, right? With like that, uh, with the uh, Bandito mud truck and other vehicles like that that we've had here on the show. We're going to be putting them to the test in a tough truck competition, so definitely be on the lookout for that. Uh, without further ado, though, let's go ahead and get this bad boy fired up, get it pulled into... All right, let's get it back in over here. We should probably move our shop truck out of the way, just guessing. We're gonna try to see if we can uh, lay this bad boy on the trans brake and do a wheelie on out of here. So let's see how that works out. Get out of the way, shop truck. Hit the fence. Nope, we're good. All right, so let's get a little bit of a slow-mo going on here. Uh, drop this bad boy into gear. That is not the right truck. That's the right truck. This thing is in gear. The trans brake is engaged already. So let's go ahead and rev it up. It's going to sit right there, right around 3,000 RPM. Let's go ahead and not forget to turn on our nitrous. So it's already on. Go ahead and let that purge out. We are revved up right here. We are going to hit the trans brake button and see if this thing will get off the ground. Yes, it will. And then on the brakes before you wreck. Oh no, are we going to hit the wall? Nope, <laughs> we just made it. Let's see if we can wheelie back over here. This thing is absolutely awesome. Definitely uh, hitting that nitrous the way I have it set up here. As soon as you let off on the trans brake, that nitrous is going to engage and it's just going to go for a ride. <laughs> oh no. All right, guys, let's line it up here. Do another one. Let's see if we can... Point it down the alleyway this time. That thing revved up. Like I said, as soon as I get off, let's go ahead and get a little slow-mo going here. As soon as I get off of the trans brake, the nitrous engages and that thing just takes off. Look at that twist. That thing's absolutely epic. This thing is definitely putting down some good times at the drag strip. Definitely be interested to see which one is going to uh, take the win, this one or that V10 Moonhawk. If you remember that one, definitely uh, remember that it did put down some very respectable times in the quarter mile. Oh no, we just totally wrecked our tire on the curb. Well, that's alright because we're about to swap these things out anyway. Let me go ahead and put some burners on the back of this thing. We're going to do a gnarly burnout before we end this video. Go ahead and get it pulled up in here, throw it in park, throw on a couple of steelies on the back and let them smoke. Alright guys, trans brake burnout for the win, for the finish here. You guys make sure you smash that thumbs up button. This thing does have the manual valve body in it too, so <laughs> you can throw it off. I was gonna get up in the third gear. There we go. 
like I said, you guys definitely smash that thumbs up button if you want to see more. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Virtual Garage. You guys are absolutely awesome. I totally forgot to do any sort of shout outs today, so uh, you guys definitely get your shout out request in down in the comment section below. Make sure I pick out at least a couple people for the next video, right? You guys are absolutely awesome. Thank you so much for smashing that thumbs up button. I'm Skip, and I'll see you in the next episode of Virtual Garage. Peace.